printing with the wave runner is pretty simple. Just hit file, print. As you can see, the printer is fired up. Unfortunately, the 7200s printing isn't quite this simple. You can see our plot. So let me show you what it takes to print like this with the 7200 to the same printer. The old 7200, 7200As don't support Ethernet. We do allow printing. We come under setup. You can see here it supports Centronics port. I've got it set to a laser jet. Unfortunately, the only way to make this work is to connect a printer directly to the back of the unit. To get around this, what I'd done was build this box. This is based around a 6811. This converts Centronic data to Ethernet data, which is then sent over to a print server. See on the back, it has two Centronics ports, Cat5 cable, and a power supply connection. This goes back to the Curry Centronics port. <coughs> See here, I actually built two of these. The one on the right here is the first one I had built. The old coax style the Ethernet. It's your single Centronics port, reset switch, power connection here. Just looking inside the second version of the print server. It's pretty old. I built this around 2000. It's about 15 years ago. You can see down here this is your magnetics, Mac some static RAM. This is your 6811. It's an Atmel E squared. Your DRAM of course. And the FPGA clock. Up here's your power supply. You can see this has all been wire wrapped. We can see the ROM version, FPGA version, uptime, the MAC address of the printer, the IP address of the printer. We can change the IP address, the port name, diagnostics will run like memory tests. So if I want to run diagnostics, I can do a perform burn in extended tests or single pass DRAM test only. I'll go ahead and run a single pass. Here we can see it's sending out the different codes. If I select hard copy Wait a second. And here's your printout from your 7200 across the Ethernet.